20 and then all the required dimensions are given so we need to find out that what is the isometric view of this figure or say component of a machine so we have splitted the views in four different parts and for its isometric view the circular and the second the part that circular which is that of a ortho view is to be drawn in iso view as an ellipse so we used to draw ellipse to show the circular part so this will be our four center method as we have drawn before so let us see the solution we have split the part one so we have produced this figure section by section let us see that component base plate and then to give a uh, overall dimensions what is required so let us see section 2 that is second split will be another component and then split 3 that is a rib and then a split 4 which is one more component so to simply join them to produce the complete isometric view of that component and here we have the complete solution so we have split it because this component or say isometric drawing is odd which is not isometric so we have splitted into four section one then two three and four and we have simply assembled in order to create the isometric view so this was the third method for the isometric view so this will be our and let us revise the isometric scale what is isometric scale which is as mentioned before that actual length is always drawn on the 45 degree and then isometric length we are using angle 30 degree so it is reduced by root 2 divided by root 3 so this will be our isometric length so whatever length we are getting on the actual line which is 45 degree the isometric length will be reduced and let us take one more example on that so sketch to show the orthographic view of a machine component draw its appropriate isometric view using splitting the object into pieces technique in isometric view so as we have seen the problem earlier we have second one more we have splitted the component I will quickly mention the views so we have splitted the parts into A and B so in this way we can see these two parts and in part C we have another section and the final part we have base for the radius part so we have all the splitted parts and the required dimension to assemble the isometric view 
simply joining them will give us the isometric view so dimension must be given on the isometric view which is which are not shown here so this will be our complete isometric view of the machine component another problem with the split method so we have divided this into the a b c and d and we have simply combined all these views into an isometric view in order to create the views so another exercise a figure shows isometric views of a machine component and draw its isometric view so the front view is given and left hand side view will be given so we have two views here with the required dimensions radius and all the required dimension are given so let us draw the isometric view for the same component so we are drawing line by line we have to start with the overall dimension which is 80 and then whatever dimensions are given we need to produce the height in vertical axis and the depth into d axis and length into the l so we are using lengths so one by one we have to produce the length which is overall 120 mm and then we have to produce the required measurement here will be the rect circular section with the radius 30 and simply join them in order to draw the other side so with 20 mm thickness and also produce the center line in order to create the rib section so let us see the front view and left hand side view is given let us draw one more so simply join the line as the dimensions are given we can produce now circular section in order to complete the same section so here we have half section half circular section because it's shown dotted line so here this will be the half circular section and if you see front view it will be this edge will be dotted so whatever line is visible we are drawing only solid line we are not using dotted line and the circle full circle as it is visible so isometric view one more problem so we have overall dimensions let us see the isometric of this geometry let us draw first an axis so length is 60 mm overall height is 25 mm and depth is 34 mm so let us produce a cubical method so that is overall dimensions the total dimensions method so we have produced a solid geometry with the overall dimensions that is 60 25 and 34 let us give the overall dimensions and then start draw with the front view so in the front we have this known length and then rest of this known length so we will leave the space for this 
10 mm radius circular semicircular section we will complete with the rest of the section the 40 mm height 14 mm height simply this known measurement we need to deduct uh, 36 from 60 in order to get this measurement then simply up to this point to this point and simply join the 8 mm height with that point will give us the front view of this isometric view so in this method we are drawing parallelly in all isometric plane so now we are we have finished the uh, the front view apart from this circular section so we will move for the top view we will simply join the lines so with the help of top view we will complete the isometric top view with the known height and simply use this dimension in order to create the isometric top view so now we proceeded from the left hand side view along with the top view with this straight line so simply join this straight line so this will be our left hand side view simply joined parallel line to this line because it's closed entity and this two slant portion will be visible here and here with this line and this line this two will be our slant portion and the middle section will be 18 by 18 so the so only remaining part will be the semicircular part and again to draw semicircular part we will use the rectangle method we join the midpoints from the nearest diagonal smaller diagonal and we will complete the half circle and since it is isometric view we need to draw the parallel line from this to give it a 3d view so that will be our isometric of that figure so we'll see next problem front view and top view and side view is given of this figure so suppose it is the identical so we need to imagine that how it will look like and we'll see quickly that how it is to be drawn in isometric view so simply draw a cube so cube in all three sides and then we need to rub the sides so this will be our isometric view another view another problem can be drawn with the help of cube system the overall system so we need to generate the cube in all three and then simply join these lines which are the visible since it is visible lines and then we need to rub the other sides let us take one more problem the front view top view and side view of object is given so these are the common problems so this point we are using we are starting with front view so we finished front view and let us complete the top view and side view so our side view left hand side view is L shape so 
here we have completed the front view and left and side view and we now will finish with the help of top view join this line project from the front view and join the top view as it is mentioned here simply connecting those lines will complete our isometric view so here was a another problem and let us recheck it again that from the front view it is okay from the left hand side view that is also fine and then top view will give us the this section so we can start from any side non side with the non dimension and we will simply draw a parallel line and we are using another view in order to complete the isometric view one more problem front view side view of an objects are given and draw its isometric so front view and side view only are given so with reference to this line we are simply drawing joining these lines so a 50 mm is given that means a square hole of 30 mm we need to project up to 40 mm length and the this line wa was invisible so we need to rub that line out this line out this line out and this line out to give a isometric view of this section so only visible lines to be drawn and only overall dimension are need to be drawn so that was the complete section of the isometric figure only two views are given front view and side view and let us take a final problem similar to that problem the base plate and that is vertical cylinder and a rib section as we have seen and we need to rub the all the non required lines that is the complete isometric view so we have seen a uh, regular problems that is simple geometry problems so 